All right, guys, so what we got here is a Husqvarna. There's a YTH2448. Means 24 horse engine and a 48 inch deck, which is off it right now. Um, actually, bought this thing last year. Um, it needs. Eh. A little more work than I really care to put into something, but sometimes that's how it goes. Uh, the front, either the front axle, I haven't taken the front wheels off yet, so I don't know if the spindles are shot or the, you know, the axle itself, but the rims are completely trashed. So either I have to change out the rims and tires, or I got to change the axle, which I have many many of those so and i have replacement wheels should i need some so not a big deal that's easy stuff the engine does run and runs really good as a matter of fact um i don't see any issues with it as far as leaks and garbage like that so i think that's just the oil change and a filter chain you know oil and oil filter and air filter change and good to go on there um, as you can see it's got the hydro out of it this is where it gets a little more dicey um, it it moved it it worked just fine it was a little weak going up hills uh, or steeper hills anyway so it was was going bad um, and you know I can't sell it like that so I gotta have things working the way they're supposed to work when I sell them so now I'm gonna have to take this apart and there's a way you can fix that I've been uh, watching Terrell fixes all he did one of these fixed it and I'm going to attempt it so but it's all got to come apart and I do have a plan B plan B involves just replacing this whole thing which I would have rather done I do have one it's in a John Deere right now a parts tractor um, it's the same thing the only thing with that one is is I can't get the right side wheel back wheel off I'm not sure about the other one because the right one is I mean I've heated it up and everything and I can't get it off there so I may have to if I use that one I have to use the John Deere wheels on here which are yellow and you know <laughs> wouldn't look right I can paint them that's true um, also these tough torques are kind of weird because uh, they can be set up either way let's see where's the here's your drive where the drive hooks up at and there's a way you can switch it where going forward is either forward or reverse. Now on this one, it makes a lot of sense. They have it to where when this little lever goes forward, it goes forward. Imagine that. Well, in the John Deere, it's completely opposite. So, but there is a way to easily change that, but you got to take the whole thing apart or the cover off anyway and dig into it and change it. So, um either way i have to open one of these up so that's kind of why i'm doing this for plus i want to know if i can actually fix one of these myself i know terrell did it but i want to know if old dave can do it so uh we'll be back all right guys so before we start you want to uh take your pulley and fan off and i already did it but I'm just going to show you. It's just a snap ring here. 
at least for this one. I, a lot of these are different. Some, sometimes the pulleys are above the fan and all that, but it's basically the same way to take it apart. Just make sure you put it back together the same way you found it. So we're going to take this off like that. And then there's a, a spring washer right there. Very important. Don't forget that. So I'm going to take that off like that. Set that aside. And then there's this little guy here. And why you want to take all that off is because here's your part where you drain it and fill it right here. And this cap is on there pretty tight. I've had to take this hammer and, and screwdriver and start pounding around. As you can see, it's kind of cracked. So I'm trying to be really careful. Anyway, when I get that snapped open and stuff and drain and all that, I'll come back. All right, guys, so I got it off there, and the fluid level looks good. That's about where you want it, I guess. And here's the cap, and here's a little magnet that's stuck to it. Now, this is supposed to catch metal shavings, and there's a lot of goop on it, but, um, I mean... Uh, I called my local place for uh, fluid, so you know, I'm waiting on them to get back to me if I can get some, or well, hopefully they can get it or I'm toast. But um, anyway, it's just it might have very. It looks like it's probably got very very small shavings on there. I mean, like it is. I can't even, I can't feel them, but, you know, they're there. But that's, it's doing its job, and it's not like it's full of all kinds of bad stuff. And there is another one, I guess, inside there. So when we get it open, I'll show you that. All right, guys, hang on. All right, guys, so when you're taking all these bolts out, yeah, it's just this section right here. Eight, one out. So there's a couple of, all the bolts are the same except... These two center ones. So I've marked the heads of the bolt, and then you can see I marked right here. And well, you can't see the mark on this one because of your angle, but I marked that spot too <clears throat> with a black marker. Now I've already pried everything loose because it's got a sealer on it, you know. And they have you see these little ears? They're kind of placed around the perimeter of this, and you just kind of keep you know working it back and forth until finally she pops now there's a spring in here that's popping this up <clears throat> wish me luck okay so Here's the spring, don't lose that. I just kind of putting that in the pan, right, right where it would go. So I gotta get my other glasses on here. All right. Now, this little piece here, okay. It's not coming out, but uh, that is your filter. Here's more magnets, and they've, they're they goopy, too. There must be a way to get... This one looks a little different than what Terrell did, so... I'm kind of on my own here. Um, here's another magnet. And you can see there is metal on there. It's Again, it's very mushy. It's not like shards. You know, so, but apparently that's somewhat normal. It's, the magnets are doing their job. Now, 
does this piece come out? I wonder if it's just held by this one bolt here. And then the magnets come out. I think the magnets are actually holding the filter in. So, and it looks like this tab, this whole thing is, is secured by this one bolt. So, I'm going to get set up for that. Okay, so I loosen that but I think this is all going to come out eventually here anyway but uh, I have to make sure all the everything gets cleaned up really good okay here's your two magnets now I believe oh I need I, before I really get into this I'm gonna go back and watch Terrell's video again. Now I think this is an upgraded version with uh, more magnets than the one he was working on. And uh, again, these are doing their job, it looks like. Nothing like real, I can't even feel any metal, you know, like gritty type stuff. Clearly it's there. It's just, uh, you know, normal, I guess, is what they say. So, now, here's the filter, which is, again, this is one that's a little different than what he worked on. Um, really should get something for that. Hang on a second. Okay, just got this little bowl. It's clean. I just want it to drip in something other than itself while I show you. Now you can see it's probably plugged with the same crap that's on those magnets. <clears throat> Chances are this is our problem. Just filter being plugged. Um, he thought so on the one he worked on too. But he went a step further and went in and and cleaned some surfaces, which I would like to do too as long as I'm here. But um, I'm a little nervous about it. Now, I've this being a tough torque, I've had I've done hydro gears, uh, hydros, and they're a lot less complicated than this. Um, however, with those, that's either good or it's bad, and there's no in-between. So, in, in that aspect, it, it's a good thing, I guess, but uh, that you can actually repair these somewhat. I mean, if they're bad, they're bad. But um, So what I want to do is uh, check the gears to see if there's any excessive wear. And uh, no, I, no, remember there's a magnet that sits right in this slot right here. I already took it out because I got to clean it. Um, So the magnet is right by the gears. So if there was anything severe, I think I'd find a lot of metal on that. And it was just that gray crap. But So this magnet isn't really strong. Hopefully it's going to be strong enough to get this other one. Because this one I can get with my hand. Then I think there's a there's another one in here, but well, I see. Yeah, 
this magnet just isn't isn't cutting it, man. All right. I got to get a different one. <laughs> All right. Let's see if this one works. All right. Just got to pick that bad boy out of there. And that allows you to move this axle back. Okay, probably got to get the other side out too. No, don't fall. Okay, there we go. He's like playing that operation game all over again. So let's see what we can... Should just come right out. And then what you want to do is again I gotta get my other glasses on. <sighs> okay. What you want to do is check for excessive wear, see if these little teeth come to like a sharp point. And, uh, and they all look pretty good. And then if you can geez, those things are barely worn at all. If you guys can uh, I'm going to take it down. Maybe zoom me in a little bit. So what I'm looking at is these gears in here. And same thing, see if they're wore to a point. Got burrs on them, you know. If you got burrs on anything, it's bad. But I mean, See that little shiny, you can see the shiny right there, but the rest of it's that gold color, like original color. That's good. That's good. That's real good. And I guess that is where all your metal wear is going to come from, is, is right here. Let me zoom you back out again. So, oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. It didn't listen to me. So, I think what I'm going to do, you can, you can, you can buy us, uh, the heck's it called? Let me, uh, okay. A seal service kit you can get for these. And what that will give you is the filter. It'll give you the filter, and it'll give you all. It'll give you the uh, proper stuff that they use around here for seal for uh, silicone sealer, or whatever it is they use. And it'll give you axle seals and all the other seals. Um, none of these seem to be bad, but it doesn't hurt to have those on hand. Um, 
this one is quite different than one he worked on. So, and it is tough. I'm, there's pins and springs and all kinds of stuff going on. Um, and plus this one has, this isn't even on the one he worked on. So, um, cause I just went back and watched it again. So I kind of, I'm doing what he did. He said you can, there's, uh, surfaces in here you can wet sand and all that um over a very 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 flat surface i was thinking of doing that but uh oh and then this has to be sealed down too there's a lot of ifs ands and what have yous uh with taking that out this block right here this is a wedge the other side of this is about like this wide, right? And it'll go in either way. So if you do ever take these apart and this comes out, this wedge piece comes out, you got to make sure you put it back right or your reverse is going to be forward and your forward is going to be reverse. That's what I was telling you before with that other one. If I use that other one, I'm going to have to come in here and I'm going to have to open that one up too and take this wedge out well it's not that easy to get out but um it has to come out and get flipped over and that will change your speed so what i'm going to do is i'm going to order that seal service kit because i think this is all i think this is good i think that filter i'll show you And again, this, this filter is different than the one he had, too. This one's actually paper. The one he had was just a screen. And I'm almost certain it'll focus. It's not going to really, is it? I think this is just, I think this is plugged. You know. So, we'll get a new filter for it and all that stuff with the seal of service kit. And if that doesn't work, and then, I, oh, it comes with the oil, too. It comes with the the proper uh, oil that goes in here. So I don't know how much it costs yet. I know seals aren't that much money, and that filter probably isn't a whole lot. The expensive part's going to be the oil that goes in this bad boy. So... Um, it's going to be a while till I get back to this, so, but you won't notice because it'll be the next scene, so, all right. All right, so, uh, it's quite some time later. I got the seal kit. Comes with a new screen here, which you can see is a lot different than this one. They're the same otherwise. Um, I've never really seen one like that before. Usually they use these screen ones. Uh, you got two axle seals. Uh, not sure which one this is. You got your... Uh, the drive shaft, I guess. You know, with a fan and, all, and the pulley mounts. It's either that one or this one. And then the brake, I believe it's a brake or the drive shaft where the, that sticks out. And a whole bunch of O-rings. They don't, all this stuff doesn't necessarily apply to this machine here. It's tough torque. And some washers with uh, O-rings on them. And a new fill cap which is pretty cool because our old one was destroyed and then a new uh, vent cap it's kind of cool and a magnet 
So why there's just one magnet? I'll tell you why. Because this is, and that probably takes goes right there where that one is. Um, I cleaned everything up, all the magnets and everything. So this is an upgraded version with these two magnets here that bolt up in this area. Oop, bolt up in this area here. And this is your pump, so it hopefully gets all the, the bad stuff before it goes into the pump here. So then the screen would just fit on there like so, and then this goes on after. So I'm just, I'm not going to do any seals because the axle, see there's no leaks on this thing. So, I'm just going to leave all that alone. If it's working, great. Then it comes with these two little screens here. What those are, and this, again, may not be for this particular one either. But there's, here's your drive, or your drive uh, shaft hooks up to, the just the shaft that hooks to this, and moves this back and forth and which moves that there's two little pegs in there and it you know moves those accordingly whether you're going forward or reverse and i guess what those do is just make for smooth engagement i guess now they either put screens in there or check balls i believe i can't remember so i don't know which one this is so for now, I'm just going to leave well enough alone because, like I said, I'm pretty sure this was our only problem. That and a good oil change. So, onto that, they gave us this too. And it doesn't say on there what it is, but that's the stuff you need. You know, like, if it's 2050, I have no idea what it is. So, then they gave you... The stuff that goes for the seal, the silicone. So, and you got a seal <laughs> all in here too. All up in here. Oop. All that stuff has got to get sealed. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put the new screen, put the magnets back in. And we'll use this and possibly this. But otherwise, everything else is going to get saved for... Well, if it doesn't work, then we'll go back in here and uh, give it what it needs. But I'm pretty sure that's all it's going to take. So, whoop, almost dumped the whole works over. So... I'm going to do all that off camera and we will be back okay guys so I filled her up I this is actually the next day I put that goop on there and uh, put the bolts in I didn't tighten them or anything and then I just tightened it today so uh, and this magnet that they gave in the kit I think goes in there like so so and this is a new cap that they gave me Assembly. So this little guy here goes first. Then you want your pulley. And then the little spring washer goes in there. 
and and we got this guy here leave and this is These things are always fun. I like it when they go shooting across the room. And then your, uh, this is the neutral uh, pull rod. Kinda gotta put it on now, cause it makes it easier that way, I guess. Um, all right, so, and the fan, you always want to make sure your fan looks good before you put it back in. It's got a little whoop de doo here. Somebody must have not, I'm guessing, somebody who replaced the belt in the past. They must have had this one folded in there. So, that's always one thing you want to make sure of when you're putting your belt on. So, I got a new belt, a new uh, drive belt for it. So we're gonna get this up under there and get the new belt on. Now, I'm gonna recap a little bit. The reason I went through all this is because the hydro did work. In fact, you would think it worked fine, mostly, but it really didn't like steep hills and that was pretty much it other than that it was fine it would go up the steep hill it would just slow down big time so um, I'm betting on that filter was the problem the whole time so like we checked out all the gearing and all that so I think and if it's not, if it doesn't work, I do have another hydro. So that'll go in there. Um, I just hope it doesn't come to that. All right, hang on. Okay, so what I did is I put the uh, hydro on a, a tire. And underneath the tire is just a little scooter. That way I can move it around as such. And here's the new belt. I don't know want that number or not but uh, so I'm just gonna never did it this way before but I'm gonna put this on here before I install the hydro so here it's like that it's kind of easier to do while it's out I guess right so Next, I'm just going to shove it right under there. And I'm going to bring you guys out here, maybe. Hopefully, you won't be in my way. Yes, I kind of painted everything. Maybe I'll bring you over to the other side here. All right, so what I've got to do is come through this way with that mount. And leave 
this just goes in there like that. Maybe before I do that though, I should get this rod up where it goes like that, just like that. The neutral rod. about is new to rod put that up through here <laughs> trying to get you guys adjusted right see what I'm doing but also kind of in my way where to go Put the pin in it, just like that. Ouch. Okay. Also, while we're at it, might as well plug in this. Lousy. Reverse thing. Sorry for the noise. Should have warned you. Got earbuds in, that was probably tough on you. So, a lot of people hate these, and of course, I do too, but I don't want to sell anything half assed or rigged, so going to have this working and that's your reverse safety switch deal so if you have this on on yours chances are you just unplug it it should be fine I'm not sure if you have to jump those the, this or not the, uh, the plug like, I'm not sure if you have to put jumper wire in here Maybe you do, I don't know, but chances are you probably just unplug it and it'll disable it. So, okay, I'm just kind of checking, just probably go on the, I'm going to go on the other side here real quick. Alright, <clears throat> I was just checking the brake on the other side, I'm pretty sure I can hook that up once it's all hooked in. So, bracket didn't line up right. I think the wheel at this point is holding us up, so. Let's 
seem like it's hitting something. Though. Shouldn't be hitting anything, but that's what it seems like. Might have an easier time. Hopefully, I'm not sure. Ooh. Sorry, guys. I can just get something started here. It's proven to be difficult. Maybe what I want to do is put in the front, put in this bracket, bracket bolt. All right, so I just started this one and the one on the other side. So these line up better. You guys might notice some weird stuff going on here. The previous owner, well, these tend to crack and break, these mounts. The previous owner put a pretty good slab of, of beef on here. Um, but crudely, and I tried to re-weld and grind as best I could to make it look okay but it's and that's even welded up in here so I mean you know what do you do did the best I could guys you know but it's definitely uh, it's not going anywhere it's a pretty good piece of metal he put in there so I have no fear of anything about it. Okay. Lather, rinse, repeat. Hydro is in. Okay, guys. We're going to test this transmission out now. Moving, that's a plus. Only a partial is about half throttle. It's flying. Pretty good too, but there is a small hill back here. That is the test right behind the barn here. Well, the steep part of it right here is probably hard. See now. Before, it had a hard time getting up this hill. Like I have any, I'm not even full throttle. Not 
not a problem. Not a problem. Let's try reverse. Not much gas in this, so probably should get back. Man, this thing flies. Whoa! <laughs> Yeehaw! Okay, so before this, all I done is, uh, you know, after I put it in, I kind of went forward and backward in the garage. I haven't had it out for its full drive until now. So, yeah, it did good, man. It did really good. Now, the deck's not on it, so it doesn't have all the weight, but I don't see how that would even be a problem. So, I mean, it's doing really good. Plan B was to take... The hydro out from the uh, the broken frame Husqvarna and put it in here if this one didn't work but that's good now I gotta I got another good transmission laying around for another project so uh, yeah I'm happy I am happy so I have some things to do to the deck on this and then it is out the door and uh, right on all right, guys, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. Um, leave me a comment, as always, and uh, I will comment back to you. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.